Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and the Carrion Queens are back. That's right, we're going to be starting our second op today, which uh, is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you guys uh, just ate up that last uh, series, uh, so thank you for that, for sticking with that. Um, yeah, huge reception, it's been fantastic. And I've taken all your feedback on board, or at least quite a lot of it, uh, as of yet, I think. I think episode 6 went up today, or is it 7? Either way, they're not all up yet. They're not all published. Um, but anyway... I've read a lot of feedback, and also a lot of uh, my response is essentially, yeah, I wasn't being that pressured. Yeah, like the game's pretty pretty forgiving on normal difficulty, so things that would have been nice to have done weren't urgent. Nothing was urgent. So uh, I'm going to remedy that. I'm going to remedy that today by making things more urgent and more pressing and more stressful and hopefully more entertaining. Um, so, first off though, I have spent all of the experience points. The main bit of um, feedback is that I wasn't bothering to give them any of their uh, talents. Um, so I've done that. I've done that a lot. So now, for instance, our tinkerer here can build barricades and health dispensers and the like. So we've got all of that sort of stuff covered and uh, we'll see that as we go. Also, uh, terrain here. Um, I, I love how she's been built, so I've made it so she's incredibly slow, can shoot a lot, uh, still got Gatling Frenzy, I gave her a Laz Cannon, which supposedly is more accurate, less likely to graze, so that should make Gatling Frenzy better, maybe. Hard to tell, but we can experiment with that. But then also, um, Aura Safeguard uh, makes enemy offensive skills a lot worse, and we get a bunch of other uh, bonuses, such as uh, Formation here for extra damage, Absorption, uh, Guardian puts up stress and stun resistance, so, you know, nice stuff to have here. Uh, weapon Barrier, she's got as well, which just gives her a bunch of bonuses. So, yeah, I really like her. She's just going to be standing still, blasting at stuff, while everyone else does mm, just, you know, all the nitty-gritty. Uh, but she's barely going to be able to move. So she's going to be a she's a turret now, which is a lot of fun. Um, also, Robotrix has a chainsaw now. It has a chainsaw, which I almost didn't equip because it seemed worse um, than the sword that she had. Until I realized that it does a smidge less damage, but it does stacks of bleed. So the more I attack with chainsaws, the more bleed damage the enemy is going to take, which is brilliant. So um, that's really cool. So annoyingly, though, you have to reload it, which is a, yeah, big annoyance, but... Anyway, um, and yeah, uh, Wallavu as well, um, if we have a look at her skills, I leveled these two right up. So Double Tap and Heroic Barrage are going to be way cheaper. Uh, the next thing I want to do though is Height Advantage, so she has way better criticals. That way I can use Double Tap, which gives her a bunch of AP back. As you can see, uses 34 AP to use now, because I've leveled it right up. So that's good. Right, that's fairly cheap. It's only four more than shooting someone normally would be. But there's a chance to get 25 AP back if I can put up the crit chance a bunch. So, could be really fun. We could do some really fun stuff here. Heroic Barrage, 48 AP to use, which is still fairly high, but it used to use like all 60 of her AP. So, that's still fantastic. So yeah, I really like it. So, um, yes, we made a lot of changes, as you can see. I've also made sure that I have uh, all the armor on people. I spent a little bit of cash. Um, that I have, but we still have plenty of spending money, and we haven't even started an operation yet, so we may have to do some more planning and buy some more things or whatever. I want to be flexible, so we're going to keep some money. Uh, that, and there's nothing left in the shop to buy, frankly. So anyway, so return to the hideout, and I'm going to check one more time that uh, <laughs> uh, we still have a bunch of crates. I thought I opened these. Did I not open these at the end of the... Did it not save? Or something. I'm sure I opened these at the end of the episode. Maybe I didn't? Well, now I've got to open them all. Who's got a level 2 Laz Cannon? Okay, I guess I'm equipping that then. Cool. Alright, we'll just get all these done then. And a Cryo Gun. Ooh. That's fun. Makes people brittle. The Saboteur that we basically just gave a bunch of machine guns. So, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, plasma Grades. Better Rivet Cannon. No, we're not using a Rivet Cannon. Although, in another save I've been playing, I really am liking the Rivet Cannon. Like, it's got... It, it seems to crit a lot. Yeah, 15% crit chance. And it's got the armor shred. Like, it's quite cheap to use. I mean, like, 15 AP? Yeah. So you can just shoot people, like, four times with this thing. Uh, I say four times. It's four times three. So, yeah, you can really put in the DACA. It's fantastic. So, yeah. But, nope. We went with, uh... Ooh, rock drill. Ooh. Better stun chance. Tempted to give that, actually, to uh, the lane mechanic for the extra stun chance fun. Alright, what else we got? Oh, that's nothing much. Uh, rivet cannon. Eh. 
All right, cool. Okay, one last look at crew management then. I thought I'd done away with all this, but apparently not. So, you there. Uh, this, the power saw, we can change for a better river cannon or a better rock drill. Let's change it for the rock drill. I like that. Cool. And it's also super imposing. That is very scary. God, imagine that going through you. Ooh. I mean, something tells me that would be far less damaging than the um, uh, saws, but it's impact damage rather than, you know, rather than the uh, piercing damage or whatever it is. The blade damage. I can't remember what it's called. You know the one. That's impact, and um, this one is uh, piercing. It is piercing. So, yeah. Very cool, though. Big fan. Uh, also, you there. I have a better las cannon for you. Okay, where are you? There you are. So, there we go. Just more damage. Just more damage. Excellent. Oh, and I gave them all some consumables as well. So, I uh, haven't fully loaded them. Uh, a lot of people were saying, oh, for the ones with two-handed weapons, bring a one-handed weapon so they can carry stuff. And Generally, I'm, I'm trying to travel light so I can steal more stuff. Especially early on, I want to strip all the decent gear from all of my opponents. So, operations. There are no ongoing operations. And so this is where things are going to get a little bit crazy, because I think, rather than just doing normal, uh, well, we just did normal, rather. Rather than going from normal to hard, as you'd expect, I am very tempted to jump even further and go straight to very hard. As you can see, they have an extra one, so an extra 50%, basically, uh, crew rating over me, which is probably just, this is probably a terrible idea. But, all I have to do is win the resource thing, right? If my people keep getting injured and whatever, like, who cares? As long as I manage to get the objectives. Um, this way I actually have to think each time. And that was the problem, I think, with the previous uh, the previous operation. Is, I just didn't feel the pressure. So, I was just sort of wandering in, just enjoying uh, the look of the game. I wasn't really bothering to think too hard about the, the mechanics. I was just sort of enjoying the scenery uh, for a lot of it. But this time round, I want it to be a nice challenge. If we lose and have to abandon the operation and try a different one, all the better for it, frankly. I'm I'm completely happy for that to happen because, you know, it means that we're having to think. We're having to really uh, work hard for our victories. And that is going to feel way better. Because at the end of the day, if, if our gang just gets, you know, a billion injuries and we have to throw them away, who cares? You know, it doesn't matter. But this should be really interesting. I think this will be really entertaining. Uh, this should be a lot more fun. That's the plan. So we're going to do it. And I know, I could have clicked confirm some time ago, but <laughs> I'm scared to. Uh, okay, so our rivals are gaining cohesion in the Underhive, which could bring dissent among our sympathizers. Take out the leader of the enemy gangs. So we defeat 11 leaders over the course of the, um, the thing. Also, yeah, we were only at war with two gangs before. Now we're going to have three gangs coming for us, so it's more likely that we're going to bump into more people. We might end up having, like, a four-way uh, in in one of our missions, which is going to be insane. So, this should be a lot of fun. Oh, God, I almost don't want to click it. I'm clicking it! Ugh! So, facilities. Uh, we're going to want to change things up a bit. So, last time I did uh, salvaging benches, I think, wasn't it? Although, I think they might have improved this stuff a bit. I have a feeling they might have improved some of this stuff. Also, I just realised, this reduced the cost of skill upgrades. I just did a bunch while we didn't have a base. I probably should have started an operation, then done all my upgrades, huh? Well, now I feel silly. Well, whatever. We're getting training ground, because that sounds great. Because we are going to be playing catch-up, remember. They're going to be a lot more, you know, they're going to be a lot higher stre uh, strength than us. A much higher level. So, we're going to have to be careful there. Uh, extra money each shift, but that doesn't really matter. But the concoction consumables sound good. It means we'll get more um, sort of buffs and things. Medical lab, though, sounds better. Because, yeah, just better chances of recovering from injuries, of which we will have a lot more, and we'll keep getting medical consumables, which sounds very handy. Uh, armor pieces would be nice, though. These are higher ranked than they were the previous time we had a salvaging bench, but I think we're going to need... I think we're going to need uh, healing a lot more. So, available infamy points are at zero. Why? I'm not sure. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure why. But, I think what happened between the press build of the game and uh, the, you know, launch, uh, these got reset somehow. 
And I think a lot of this stuff isn't um, coming back for some reason. It's not giving me these back again, which has me a little concerned. Like, quite a lot concerned, in fact. But uh, So we have no infamy points to spend at all, which really sucks. This is a big hindrance. But, well, we're just going to have to jump in and hope we take some of these off the list somehow and, you know, finally start getting some infamy points that we can spend because uh, this, is, this is bad. This is a real disadvantage. So anyway, let's hop in. Okay, so, difficulty, very hard. Ugh. So we actually start with 15 for some reason. Why do we have 15 resources? We have three cra uh, crate of parts. We have three crate of parts. We have part parts of crates. No, crates full of parts. Interesting. Uh, what are we going to go for? So what I'm thinking is this one is actually worse resources. Uh, there are fewer resources here than here. Which makes me think that uh, the water retrieval more of our enemies are going to go for. Because as you can see, we have three enemies now. And they're all 4,500 strength. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go for this one, I think. So rather than go for the water, which sounds more popular, we're going to try this one. So competition is fierce. Actually, if I go for the really popular one, these guys can fight each other and I can maybe just pick them off. That would be a great way to level up early. But if I get caught between a couple, that'll be a very bad way to start. Like a real bad way to start. You know what? Screw it. YOLO. We've just started. We can abandon the sector and just start something else anyway. It's not like we're, you know, not really, we're really losing anything. It'll be fine. So dire circumstances beget great profits. A truth gilders know well. Hoping to benefit from a recent drought, a contract is offered to raid a suspected water source. Contamination is pervasive in the underhive, so only clean water should be recovered, along with any purification tablets you may find. Okay, so yeah, let's do this. Let's go to the water still, because, you know, it's hard to tell. I've never... I, oh, we have been to the abandoned infirmary. Everyone just deploys at the top, though. Whereas this one, it looks like a bunch of walkways, so we're more likely to be able to maintain high ground if we choose to take it. Because as people jump down, it'll be harder for them to get back up to keep us the high ground, which sounds a lot more important. Ooh, well, we're doing it. Now, where are our enemies going? Okay, don't wait too long. Okay, Peacekeeper's just got a freebie, which means we're up against two people here. All right. All right, you guys. They've actually gone up a little bit higher than 4,500, because they've, they've clearly spent some money or leveled up or something. But, um, yay? God, why am I doing this? Should be a lot of fun, though. Okay, we're at the water still. Wow, this is really cool. So are they harvesting glaciers for water? I mean, it seems it seems to make sense. Or possibly they're condensing it here, you know? Just uh, maybe the airways, like fans just blow the air from sort of around the underhive through this area, and it, it uses sort of coolers to get condensation. And then they can harvest the condensation. You know, the ice that forms. Maybe that's how they do it. Uh, so they've all gone for the high ground, of course. That's not high ground, and neither is that. Oh. We had to go last, didn't we? Of course we did. Um, so these two... I mean, they're... They look like they're going to run into each other. So, there is that. Okay, I think... I think I'm going to go over here. Uh, oh, where's that zipline go? Oh, to this middle bit. Okay. Yeah, alright, we're just going to have to go here, I think. Although that doesn't let us get up here very easily. And over on this side, again... Like, we just have to go to this... ...little, uh, lift. What a nuisance this is. Alright, well, we're going to go over here. I'm definitely not going to go lower, you know. Although, going lower might force these two to bicker amongst themselves. But, I want the high ground. Although, I do have Ascend. Or ascension or whatever it's called. So I can I can get up high. Although I need to do the same with my my uh heavy. And she's not very mobile. Because I got rid of a bunch of her movement points. So this is a awkward start. Definitely an awkward start. 
Okay, a selector fighter. Uh, so I'm actually going to go with my heavy, I think. And we're pretty much going to try and stay out of people's way early on in this fight. We want to make sure that anyone we do fight, we have the numbers on them. Because, yeah, they've... They seem to have... Um, Okay, just a bunch of chem synth, huh? Okay. Uh, they, they're going to have a bunch of abilities that we haven't seen from those first people we fought, you know? These guys are going to be a much sort of better, more competent, more flexible group. With higher tier weaponry, so they will just be outright doing more damage as well. Which is a problem. Definitely a problem. Okay, so... I mean, the lift is over there. I could, I could just overwatch on the lift. You know? So if everyone calls it, I'll be like, hey! Although I don't think that's going to work. Honestly. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> uh, let's just put it here for now. I know, this isn't necessarily a great place, but it's fine. And fine works for me. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. And so this... Oh, no, actually, no, that's fine. Ooh, the camera. Always with the camera. Uh, I was going to say, this girl could really screw me. But uh, no. No, she's too far away to set up that heavy barrage. Yeah, look at that. Oh. A few evasions there, but that critical was very useful. And that's their leader. So I need to get the last hit on that guy. I really need to get the last hit on that guy. Because that would help me no end. Uh, so now... I can shoot him three times. Here we go. Woovaloo up here. Wallaboo, rather. Not Woovaloo. Wallaboo. So... Yeah, because it's... Oh, it's 48, isn't it? To... Um, yeah, I can't even see. Oh, I hate that you can't see the things that you can't do sometimes, and sometimes you can. It's very annoying. Uh... I can't give the attack order to myself, sadly. Hmm. God, it's five to select the floor. That sucks. Let's go to floor seven. And I could sabotage that. That would be useful. Uh, is that something sabotageable? Oh, there is over there, though, and that is. But yeah, the route to the lift, I can only sabotage that one side of it. Which, honestly, might be enough. Yeah, that might be good enough for me. 17%, 100% chat. Yeah, that seems better. <laughs> seems better somehow. Uh, yeah, if I double tap, that's not going to get me enough. This is a real pity. I really want to get the last hit on this guy. I mean, I still could. i bring someone else up here. You know? Still could do that. Hmm... Alright, let's get an aim shot. Uh, let's shoot him in the head, because apparently he has no armor there. Might get lucky and get crit. Nope. Wow, only 37 damage. That's upsetting. I'm upset now. Okay, now do I go down again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going down. Okay, I didn't want to go down that far. But now I feel dumb. And rightly so. I guess you're staying there, girl. I assumed it default to the previous place that I was on, but nope. Oh god, this guy might just jump down now. I might be jumping down there instead. Which might be on the floor that I'm on anyway, so who really knows? No. 59 damage, not bad. Not bad. He got pinned, so that's lowered his movement. Which is very good for me. God, this is so tense. I'm already feeling the tension a lot more than I was before, which I really love. Although I'm already making stupid mistakes with lifts. I never really use the lifts. I really need to be careful with them. But yeah, the whole excuse of, eh, I'm not really that pressure. So, I'm not really gonna, you know, don't need to worry too much. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't apply anymore. So, I really do need to pay attention. Okay, Lorleen. Gonna get some shots, are you? Nope, just anointing some armaments. Fair enough. That triggered her litany of steel, which, uh, annoyingly. So, um, alright, if you hold shift, 
uh, if you press shift when you're using your own uh, squad, it'll show any buffs and debuffs that they have. But you can't do that with the enemy, so it's like, it just doesn't help. If an enemy uses an ability you're not aware of, as far as I can tell, there's no way to look it up, which is very annoying. Uh, so that's my saboteur. So let's do some sabotage. Yeah. Let's give it a go. God, their, their initiative is so high. All of them. It's a bunch of dead eyes. So yeah, okay, they have high initiative. It's dead eyes. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Because yeah, delay, I'm not entirely sure what that did. But it just gave a 150 A's initiative. So presumably it just uses your AP uh, one turn, so that way you can get a head start on the next turn, which, you know, makes sense. Now he's doing battle advice. Apparently the advice was, hey mate, beat your chest. Beat your chest and go bonkers. <laughs> a defensive landing. So he gets... He gets defense bonuses. Uh, they're still shooting each other. Perfect. But yeah, he gets defense bonuses from jumping off things. Hardly seems fair. Okay. Let's get up there. Luckily, most of the overwatches and things have been triggered by each other, which is perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, cool elevator. Luckily, cool elevator always gets cool to the floor you're on, so there's no confusion there. Hey, girl. How's it going? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. That is wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> oh, priceless. And oh my god, I can't even pick a floor for it to go to unless I'm on the lift. Wow. Okay, that's... So Janet. So Janet. Uh, I can jump down there and call it, though. Oh, flippin' egg. I, I already don't have much movement left. I, I'm already quite low. Alright, instead, what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's just stand here-ish. And kneel. And uh, use Overwatch. You know what? Can I use a homemade nade on something? Probably not from here. Okay, let me see the map. Because there are a few... There's a makeshift bridge over here, which would cut him off. I think he'll be able to jump across, though, but... Yeah, I wonder. Uh, I'll just waste that MP, then. Fine. That's fine by me. Uh, and yeah, there's the bridge. There's the bridge, just there. No? The it's there somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I can't really see it, but it is there. No target in area of effects. You sure about that? Oh, I guess the range is too short. Yeah, I don't think I can throw that far. Damn it. Alright. Alright, fine. You just kneel there. And I'll put you in Overwatch. Which, might be able to... They might be able to shoot me from there, but... We'll see. So yeah, Wallaby's gonna have to go first next round, just so she can get up there. Because that's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, but hey, technically it's buying us more time. Because, you know, I'm not getting in the thick of things. So the two other gangs can uh, take further pot shots at each other. It might all work out for the best. Oh my god, with the camera. I'd, I'd love to warn you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. This guy's eager. Oh, there's an ambush. Nice. This is what I like to see. Good. And now it's this other guy's turn to hit him with a bat. Sorry, it's Warhammer, so it's a, probably a power bat. 92 damage. Yeah, that's gonna sting. That's gonna sting. Okay, spectating Atta. Atta, boy. I'm gonna make that joke a hundred times before the series is over, by the way. At least. At least a hundred. Oh, brilliant. Good. And he's pinned. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? Maybe. He's confused. 
Oh, he's going to drink some wild snake. Or is she going to? Hard to tell from behind. And delay, so I have higher initiative next turn. Damn. Delay is jolly useful, actually. It means you can't quite reach someone, but in a one-on-one -on -one situation like that, we're going to go with Wallavu next, but if they decide to go first, they will be able to jump down there and wail on it. You know? So it's, um, it's pretty precarious. It is pretty precarious. And once again, I would, I would just love to have um, a barricade. Wow, build three barricades. Ooh. Uh, readiness. This one is the last until end of the battle. Nice. So that is extra bypass melee evasion is what it'll do. So, yeah, I guess I'll use it on myself. Readiness sounds good. Good. That's going to last until the end of the battle. Love that. Big fan. I've got to say, quite nice having these additional things we can use. Uh, that's it, though, isn't it? Oh, no, I can anoint their armaments. So if we have a look at this one... Uh, nope, that's showing the fighter, not the skill. Oh, no, the skill's at the top. My bad. Uh, so it's going to add... Oh, it's just till the end of the turn. That's a pity. That's not actually going to help much. So never mind. Uh, that'll do, I guess. If someone decides to somehow get over here, I'll hit him with something. Good. That'll do. That'll do. I know, we're sort of out in the open here, but... I need to stop thinking like that. I need something, but it'll probably be fine. Like, whatever. I need something like that. We are playing against far better things now. Need to get that mindset. I, just, I get complacent with games like this. That's the thing, I don't, I don't play on YouTube to show off. I just like, you know, just like, oh, come enjoy this thing with me, guys. And that's usually fine, but uh, with this one, actually, there is, you know, there's a lot of, um, you can make it more difficult, and it actually makes you engage with the game more, rather than just sort of, like, letting most of the games just sort of pass you by. So I actually want to be sort of forced to experience everything, because I think that's a truer representation of the game, you know? If you do up the difficulty, and if you do have to sort of work for your victories. Oh, and also, I'm happy to lose submissions. I'm completely happy to lose submissions. Because, as it stands, uh, the last operation we did, we won every single mission. We com It was a complete whitewash. We had so many more resources than anybody else, it was sort of ridiculous. Like, it, it made no sense that we were, like, that far in the lead for the sort of resource metagame. With this one, I want it to be that we might actually lose the odd mission. But, you know, we might still be able to win that meta game. We might still be able to pull that out. You know, pull out a victory there. That's my hope. That, you know, that is really where the, the tension will be. Will we win that additional sort of meta game, you know? That's what I want to know. And that's, uh, that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, so, yeah, you can't do a thing right now. You really can't. You can have a coagulant. Cool. Uh, field repair somebody. Might as well. Might as well field repair her. She's shot. She's shot once. So there you go. Cool. Enjoy. And I'll be over here. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Right. So, how come... Okay, shift doesn't work if you haven't selected your character yet. So you can't look at buffs and things straight away. That's very annoying. So, cool. Uh, well, we're going to go with uh, Wallaboo anyway. Even if that lunatic gets the turn first. Okay, it doesn't look like they're going first. Good. So the lunatic with the hammer isn't going first. But even if they did, I'd get hit about a bit and then I'd want to immediately retreat. So going first is still useful. Otherwise, I'm giving a chance for someone else to have a turn before her. And then pick her off. So we're either going to want to retreat or go up and take a pot shot and move out of the way so the rest of my party can actually do something. Join the party, I suppose. Okay, so this guy's going straight for the objectives, which I sort of appreciate. Because, yeah, if the odd... Enemy player. Oh, no, no, he's stuck. There's a girder there. To be fair, like, who would have guessed there was a girder there? 
You know, this this could happen to anyone. But yeah, I don't mind if like one or two manage to grab resources and get out of there. Because it just means that I will outnumber the enemy. And I can start, you know, whittling them down and preventing them from taking anything. In fact, what I could do... What I could do... Is... How many ways are there out? Because uh, I didn't actually take that into account, but I'm by the only exits. So... I think I might actually head up this way. And just guard the exits. Because that is... That is going to be incredibly useful. Like, incredibly useful. Just to guard the exits. Because, like, that guy over here, he's just going to get wrecked. If he tries to come through here. I mean, maybe. He might be fine. But, it seems like quite a long way for him to go now. Like, look at it. Oh, no, he can just jump down there and run straight over there. Alright, we'll figure something out anyway. So, now, select floor. The top one. Had a girl. You did it. I'm proud of you. And that's the leader, isn't it? Yes, it is. He has 88. There's still a chance, you know. There's still a chance. Let's see. Oh, double tap. 20% chance to crit. That would kill him. That would kill him. Almost certain of it. Uh, actually, no, it wouldn't. Because, no, it actually wouldn't. We're not doing enough damage. Damn. Okay, where can I go? I wonder. Because it might be worth just holding up up there. Because I do want the high ground. Though I do also want to take pot shots at this guy. Because it seems the other team is busy getting wrapped up, actually. Purple team's not doing so hot, as far as I can tell. So that's good news. Um, let's do this one on the off chance that I manage to get the crit and I'm able to shoot a second time. Nah, afraid not. Still, worth a try. Uh, I could entrench, though. Which makes me think, could I? Still got 50 health. Which is still too much to one-shot him. And that would use a lot of movement points. Although, just loitering here might do the job. Hmm. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I, I need to whittle down the things that are near me. You know? I need to make sure I've done that at least. Uh, that does very little damage. Never mind. So yeah, let's let's shoot him then. I, sh I might be able to finish off with something else. 40 damage. Lovely. So he's very, very hurt. Which is nice. I like to see that. Uh, right, you chill. And now let's hope you don't get uh, just completely messed up. Oh? Are you retaliating? Hard to tell. Nope, you're retreating. I thought you would. Oh, right. Yeah, he's got he's got a machine gun. He's going to steal my kill, isn't he? Please don't steal my kill. Oh, he's the leader as well. He's giving attack orders. So yeah, he's also the leader. Oh, bullet. Lasner. That's brilliant. I might be able to take him out. If I'm lucky. Okay, so now... What I might be able to do... Is... Climb up there to Atta. And beat the crap out of him. At least that's the plan. So that's what I'm going to attempt. Or... I could go with this lass. Shoot the snot out of him. And possibly sabotage that way through. I just hate that I have to spend a bunch of AP on lift cooling. That's right, it's a lift. Deal with it. <laughs> oh, we got to sabotage it, but that wouldn't be very helpful for us. Because we're using it more than most. What the? Oh, thank god. That worried me. And, okay, it seems I can't sabotage that, because this jerk's just stood in the way. Uh, well, I can kill him, at least. And then just hide behind this box. Like a totally normal person. Uh, okay, left hand. Boop. There goes one leader. Oh, the music got very excited. It's very pleased that we did that. 
Very pleased indeed. And I could destroy the makeshift bridge. Oh, very slim chance of doing it, though. Got it. Uh, that has worse chance. I ain't homemade nade, though. It's pretty good, isn't it? They'll do that. Does some pretty good damage, generally. Oh, the frag grenade does have bleed, which is uh, always tasty. And cheaper AP. Huh. Cool. You don't do bleed, do you? Uh, no. Okay, that causes bleed. I think. Pretty sure that's bleed. Also, range 6 meters. And that's 30 meters. Much better range, huh? A face all fight is in 5 meter radius, a face all fight is in a 5 meter radius. That doesn't seem to be true, given the size of the area of effect that it's showing me. The numbers and what I'm seeing don't seem to add up. That's something they should probably look into. Anyway, uh, right, let's um, blast this guy with both barrels. And then we might actually be able to get one of our melee fighters up here to finish him. Maybe. Maybe. Also, I can't duck. I mean, a little scared that I can't duck. But we seem to basically have the high ground now, because everyone else ran off. So, this could work. This could still work. Okay, spectating bull. Or baul. I like baul. Let's go with baul. I think baul is what we'll be calling him. Where are you going, Baul? Ah, you're gonna go bother that one, huh? Good! Good for you. Nope, change your mind. <laughs> Alright, you're having a shower. <laughs> I reckon he's just jumped down and went, Oh no, it's a woman! I've got a shower. I smell horrible. That was love at first sight, guys. I know, I know Warhammer 40k. It's a grim dark setting, you know, where there's only war, but it doesn't mean there can't be romance somewhere, you know? Okay, what are they going to do? Lorleen is... Oh, actually going to shoot. Okay, okay. Oh, come on, he's just having a shower. Leave him alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. Oh, actually, I'm not sure that was the guy having a shower. I think that might have been the guy trying to run off with the goods. In which case, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, mess him up, guys. Mess him up. Um, okay, let's go with Tareen first. I really want to get up there. And I think one of these guys is actually going to jump down right to the bottom to try and intercept. Which actually I should probably do sooner or than later. But then that guy might be going pretty soon. So... Alright, we're going machine gun. We're going with the machine gun. And yep, this guy first. And he used delay, so he's proper quick. And that big old hammer doesn't look, uh, doesn't look too friendly. Nope, he's going. Okay. Right, bye. Clearly, clearly wants to jump down there, get to the objective, and... Or stop the other person getting the objective, or something. Which makes sense, because him hanging around there, like... Even if they got a good hit on us, we were going to wipe them out. Absolutely. Yeah, we were absolutely going to kill him. Oh, don't... Oh, good. Oh, no, he's, no, he's the red team. Okay, so there's his enemy there. Interesting. He just didn't have the AP. Which is surprising. I feel like he should have had the AP for that. And now Bullet Clem Red is on his way. Yeah, I'm going to miss Manred. I'm going to miss Manred a lot. We do have some other guy running into a pillar, so, you know... The spirit of Manred lives on, but still, I'm going to miss Manred. Okay, where is he going? Yeah, we're just going to have to guard the uh, evacuation points with our lives, because they are all going for the objective right now. Clearly, they're thirsty. Yeah, this suits us lovely. Excellent. So now... Uh, yep, that is the way in. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. That is spot on. We do that, and... Yeah, we're gonna keep this... We're gonna keep this safe. Forever. 
I love it. Alright, you do you, girl. Job well done. You can't kneel when you're doing that, you see. Okay, now... Um... God, where do we go now? Where do we go from here? Uh, that guy is... Yeah, like, full health. Uh, they are, are also on full health, way over there. That guy is super injured. I really want to get rid of him. That other leader. That way we've taken out both leaders. Which is actually pretty great. That takes a lot of tactical options away from them if we do that. Um, and it's... Is it that red guy? Who's carrying things? Also, I just noticed it is showing the enemies. Um, stuff now. I think. Dead Eye Perk. Yeah, it is actually showing them here. Okay, cool. I love it. Okay. Um, so yeah, we need to we need to deal with that guy, basically. And the guy at the back. I just don't want to go that far. So I think maybe. We get to here. So you run across, jump down here, and block this entrance. I think that's the way to do it. Also, we might be able to get a saboteur down here and and uh, to this control station and sabotage that as well. So if anything does run past, we can deal with them. I think the best way to get up here would be to somehow get up here and run across. This is an interesting map. I really like it. So yeah, any of, any of the girls will do. 158 initiative. I think she's going to go first. So far, she's done nothing. She's just started over there. On that part of the map. Knelt on the ground. I was like, oh, I'm going to get him next time. And that was kind of it. But now, looks like she's on the move. Okay, field scan. And starting to get some damage into uh, Kozg there. Okay. Wow. That was quick. Which has me a little concerned. That was that was a little bit fast. I don't like that. Not great range though. Not great range. And now we have our dead eye in a position where she doesn't need to use a lift. So she can use all our AP. So I might be able to get some good shots into her. Okay, someone else on the ground floor. Bogged. 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 Oh, there goes the leader. Got it. Okay, now what's happening? Oh, wow. He's on a bit of a tear. Yeah, that's really bad news for her. Alright, who's up next? I'm up next! It was me all along! Uh, so yeah, just jumping down here, I think is probably the way to go. And... Oh, can I seriously not reach? That to me feels like somewhere you should be able to jump to. You know? Like, seriously. Oh, it really feels like you should be able to jump that distance. Um, in that case... I'm not sure where to go. That's annoying. Although, jumping across here might be fun. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look. I could get over here and grab this stuff. But oh, I'm obviously certainly going to trigger that overwatch, which I'd rather not. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'm taking the lift and I'm heading up here. Like, we can have all the high ground, so it means we're going to sort of jump down and deal with people each turn. But it means we will be sacrificing 5 AP with all of our melee fighters. Although Death from Above is very good, so. Is that cool the lift? And let's head upstairs. So, select the floor. Okay. And can't go that way, obviously. Why would I be able to go that way? Don't be ridiculous. Uh, so, let's nab all this guy's stuff, because I bet he's got some lovely things. Uh, swords, spud jackers, a flamer. Wow, these are all really high level. Holy cow. We're going to be refitting all of our guys. Like, all of them. Flippin' heck. Uh, cool. 
Basically filled a backpack. All of that was awesome stuff. And now I don't know what to do. Um, I guess go here and ambush. So if someone uses the zip line, somehow, uh, I, I will hope you'll be able to intercept them. Maybe. If not, who cares? I'm out of the way. And that's good enough for me. But yeah, getting all this high level equipment. Like, we should just be focusing on, not the objectives, but looting our opponents. Because that genuinely seems more useful right now. So have a look. There's that one corpse. Because so far, there are three people down. So there's one down there, and there's one down there. So there's still a lot of fighting to be done. So, you now? Well, not yet, apparently. 159 initiative is quite high. Though they're very injured. Oh, interesting. Oh, cool. So even though she's in melee with that one... Oh, she's getting ambushed. Oh. Poor Shauna. I'm assuming that's that's how we're going to say that. Shauna, why not? Could be Cian. No, Shauna. Okay, where's she going? She's getting out of there. She is getting out of there. Which is good. I'm about to pick her off. There's Laureline. Which makes me, with a name like Laureline, it makes me think that her, her teammate is called uh, uh, Cian. Alright, come here, you. Come here, you, you lifty swine. Uh, go to floor seven. Thank you. Good. Alright, oh, yes. Of course, I can't walk past her. That'd be crazy. Um. So now what I can do, maybe, is jump down there. Perhaps. Mayhaps. I could have just taken the lift to a different floor. <laughs> Alright. Alright, me. Uh, that was Vault. That was like a sabotage it, but no. No, wrong, um... Wrong character. See, they can probably get up this lift pretty quickly. But they also might try and run past here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out here for a second. So uh, readiness we've already done. I'm pretty sure that still applies. Um, nope, all toxin specialists apparently. Oh yeah, readiness is there. Yeah, it's listed. It just wasn't listed there for a second, so that's handy. Um, you know, I could... I suppose I could put barricades down the bottom. Oh, damn. That's too good to pass up. That is too useful to pass up. No, obviously I don't want to jump there. Thank you. Yeah, let's barricade this. So they have to use the bottom. I mean, I'm sure they can try and just destroy this stuff, but that's, you know, whatever. Uh, how do they get here? They could jump from above. So I think we're going to want to put the barricades, like... Really just in the way, but that might get in my way, which bothers me somewhat. Um Alright, screw it. Let's put let's put a barricade here. Cause I haven't done that yet. So let's do that. And then you can ambush. Cool. 